Here at Town & Country Home Inspection, we like to try to help our clients and just possible future customers out. Here's a little handy tip on attic ladders. If you'll come down to your attic ladder, first thing you want to do when you pull it down and extend your ladder is make sure you go through, you check all the little nuts and bolts, make sure everything's tight so that there's no possible chance of an accident. All your attic ladders should have a manufacturer's label installed on them. This manufacturer's label will give you information about installation, etc., etc., on the manufactured ladder. One thing you do want to note is attic ladders are required by manufacturer to be installed with a 16D nail or a quarter inch by three inch long lag bolt. If you'll notice on this ladder, there are nails installed periodically and most likely uh, around the <coughs> Mid 2000s, we as inspectors, we usually find uh, screws, sheetrock screws, or drywall screws uh, installed in these, which is a deficiency. Also, if you'll notice on the hinge plate, there's one punch out hole there, and then also on the pivot plate, if you'll notice, there's two punch outs. Uh, those should also either have the 16D nails or the three, three inch lag bolts installed as well. The other thing you want to do is look all the way around your main framing for the attic ladder and make sure that there are sufficient number of nails or lag bolts installed. Uh, manufacturer's requirement is usually 16. Thank you for visiting our town and country video and if there is anything you can do you can contact us at our website or on our phone. Have a great day.